In this video, I want to offer a shortcut to long division of polynomials that often gets the name of synthetic division. Now, synthetic division is a shortcut, which is like, well, if there was a shortcut, why didn't we start with that? Well, that's because it's a special case that we can only use synthetic division when our denominator, uh, that is the divisor, is going to be x minus c. So it's going to be x minus a constant. Do notice the minus there. Um, that's going to be critical. And so this is going to be a special case of where we can zip through the division um, when we divide by x minus c. Now, it turns out this special case is going to show up with enough frequency that this shortcut is going to be super, super worth it. And so the best way to explain synthetic division is actually can just do it with a specific example. We're going to take uh, the polynomial 6x squared minus 26x plus 12, and we're going to divide it by x minus 4. So when you do synthetic division, you're going to draw your division box, but this time it's going to be upside down. And in descending order, we're going to record the coefficients of the numerator, just the coefficients. So we're going to get a 6, we're going to get a negative 26, and we're going to get a 12, like so. And so we just write the coefficients, and it has to be in descending order. So you start with the biggest power, then the next power, then the next power, like so. Notice our divisor. Uh, is x minus 4. This is exactly the format that we allow, x minus c. So to the left, we're going to write the number 4. Because after all, we're dividing by x minus c. x minus 4, we're just going to record the number c right here. So we're going to divide this 4. And then draw, draw a horizontal line that cover that's below the 4 and the bracket here. But leave a gap, because we're going to write some stuff here. So now the first step when it comes to the synthetic division, you look at the leading coefficient, you're just going to drop it down. So you're just going to write down a 6. Great. The next step is we're going to take the number 6 and the number 4, and we're going to multiply them together. So we're going to get 4 times 6, which is equal to 24. And then we're going to write that in the next column over, uh, which is 24 right here, uh, the next column over. Then what we do is we're going to take this column, and we're going to add things together, negative 26 plus 24. This is going to give us a negative 2. We then record that on the bottom. Then this process repeats itself. We're going to take negative 2 and we're going to times it by 4. 4 times negative 2 is equal to a negative 8. We then record that in the next column, negative 8. You then are going to add the numbers in this column together. So we're going to take 12 plus negative 8. That gives us a positive 4. And then I'm going to draw a little box around the 4 to indicate that we are now done. And so I want you to, so this is, this is the tableau we filled out for synthetic division. It's like, okay, what do these numbers mean? So when you look at the bottom row before the box, these right here are going to be the, co the coefficients of the quotient here. The quotient. That is, the quotient is going to equal 6x minus 2. Let me write that in white to make it more official here. 6x minus 2. So we take the coefficients, 6 and negative 2. But then we're going to downgrade the power by 1, right? We start off with a degree 2 polynomial. If you divide it by a degree 1 polynomial, you'll get a degree 1 polynomial, linear polynomial. So the quotient is going to be linear, and the coefficients are going to be 6 and negative 2. You get that. Then the remainder is going to be this number over here. The remainder. It's going to be 4. And so we're going to get the remainder here is a 4. And so... 6x squared minus 26x plus 12 divided by x minus 4 is equal to 6x minus 2 remainder, remainder 4. Or in other words, if we take 6x squared minus 26, 26x plus 12, and we divide this by x minus 4, we end up with 6x minus 2 with a remainder of 4 over x minus 4. And so this is how we perform synthetic division. Now, I want you to compare what we did in this example to a previous video for which the link you can now see on the screen. We did this exact same calculation using long division, and our quotient was 6x minus 2, and our remainder was 4. It was the exact same. But synthetic division has a great simplicity to it. We can fill out this, ta this tableau super, super fast. And I want to show you some examples of this. So let's take the... Let's take the polynomial 2x squared plus 5x plus 15 and divide it by x minus 3. So we're going to record just the coefficients of the dividend in descending order. So we get 2, 5, and 15. And then we're going to divide this by, we just look at the number we're subtracting, x minus 3. So we record a 3 over here. So remember the instructions. So going right to left, 
or excuse me, going left to right in our tableau, we drop down the first number, we get a two. Two times our divisor here, three, two times three is a six. And then we take five plus six, which is 11. Then we take three times 11, which is 33. And then we take 12 plus 33, which is gonna be 45. And this will then be our remainder when we go through this. Oh, it occurred to me that I actually had a 15 right here. So I should correct this so that it doesn't confuse anyone watching. Uh, so we had a 15, which then changes the remainder. 15 plus 33 was a 48. And so this tells us that 2x squared plus 5x plus 15 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 11. Where did the 2x plus 11 come from? It came from these digits right here. We started off with a quadratic polynomial, so the quotient will be one less because we divided by a linear polynomial. So we get 2x plus 11, and then we add to it the remainder of 48 over x minus 3. And so that's what we get uh, when we do synthetic division. It's super, super slick, super, super fast. Uh, with enough practice, you're going to be able to zoom through these things really quickly. Uh, let's do another example. This time, let's do a degree 3 polynomial. This thing does not really get much more difficult, even if the polynomial gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So we have to write the coefficients of the numerator. So we get 1x cubed minus 4x squared, 0x minus 5. It's very critical that you put a 0 in for the x term, right? So there's no x term here. That's because you have a 0x. You need to put that 0 in there. If you didn't do the 0, what this would look like to you is actually x squared minus 4x minus 5. If you don't have the 0 in there, by mistake, you're actually dividing by a quadratic polynomial, not a cubic. And we're going to divide this by 3. So with synthetic division, we get the following. Bring down the 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3. Plus 0 is a negative 3. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Plus negative 5 is a negative 14. That's the last term, so that's going to be the remainder. So what we've then discovered is the following. x cubed minus 4x squared minus 5 divided by x minus 3. This will equal 1x squared minus x minus 3. That there is our quotient. The quotient's leading term will always be one less than the leading term we started with. And then our remainder will be negative 14 over x minus 3. And there you have it.